We can see clearly that every bit happen there is an hard animation and bit counter next to it and after 15 seconds it's count the PBM value. If you are subscribing my channel, you know that recently I uploaded a video tutorial on how to use an easy pulse plugin sensor. Now in this video, I want to talk about a heartbeat sensor too, but this is far cheaper than the easy pulse. This is a very cheap heartbeat sensor, the sensor uses the PPG method, but PPG in this sensor a little different than the easy pulse. The sensor is the reflection of light that absorbed by the tissue. So there is a light source which is green, and then next to it there is a photodiode. This photodiode will receive the reflection of light reflected by the tissue. The amount of light that is reflected by the tissue is affected by how much blood in the tissue. So when our heart pumps the blood, there will be more blood in our fingertips. So it can be read as a heart rate. So in this video, we will use the same method to read the heart rate. I will just use the analog read from Arduino IDE sample and then open the result in serial plugger. So I place my finger on the sensor. We can see on the serial plugger that there are pulse swift. It's pretty clear if not as clear as the easy pulse sensor. Wait, before we continue the video, you can make me really happy by subscribing to this channel and tap the bell so you won't miss new video from me. But we can still read this value to count as bit. The things about this small sensor is sometimes it is not stable. I have been using this sensor several times and in some projects I have bad results. Sometimes the pulse is doesn't clear enough, so we have difficulties on counts the bit. The position of our finger is affect the reading of the sensor. Sometimes the color of where we put the sensor affects the sensor reading too. The best color that works I think is white. So make sure if you want to use this sensor, place the sensor with white background. Because maybe with a white background, the LED will light more. So I will determine the pulse threshold. I will take 516 as a threshold. So every time the ADC reaches more than 516, it will count as a bit and disable the count status. And if the ADC drops to less than 510, I will reset the count status so it can add bits again. So this is the sketch. The bits will edit only when the count status equals to zero. When the AD series is more than 516, I will add the bits by one, and then change the count status to one, so it can add more bits once it edit. And if the ADC drop to under 510, the count status will be reset to zero, so it can add bits again when there is a pulse wave. Now I will print bits every a bit happen and also print the amount of bits counted. And I will read the bits for every 15,000 milliseconds or 15 seconds. So in the end of reading time, I will multiply the reading with 4. So 15 times 4 is 60. We got the BPM value. And then I reset the bit count and then print the BBM value and reset the millis. So here's the result. We can see that every bit happen it print bit detected and bit counted. And in the end of 15 seconds it will print the bits. We can see that every bit happen it print bit detected and bit counted. 
and in the end of 15 seconds it will print the bits time by 4 and it is the ppm value Now I will display the result to an OLED display and also to make it more interesting I will make a little animation every time the bits happen So I call this function when bit happen to display bigger the hard picture and here I call this function to display smaller hard picture. Upload the sketch and this is the result. You can download the full code in the link at the description below. We can see clearly that every bit happen there is an hard animation and bit counter next to it and after 15 seconds it's count the ppm value so i think this is the end of tutorial on how to use this cheap heart rate sensor don't forget to subscribe so it will encourage me more to make more videos Thank you and bye.